Welcome back to the GCN Tech Clinic. This is the video where we answer all of your tech related questions that you've been leaving under the videos with the hashtag AskGCNTech. So should we start off with the first question? Up? Yeah, no Ollie again this week, just a pair no, of us. No, Ollie just, just doesn't want to be here anymore. You got the same blue and t-shirt on again. Don't, shush. Never mind. Anyway, first question, I'll start us off. It's from Mark Christian. He says, hi GCN Tech. Congratulations on your road to 500 subscribers. Says, him and his riding buddies started debating what to do when storing our bikes um, for long periods of time. Should we put our front and rear derailleurs in the smallest cog and smallest chaining ratio? Well, I've never really thought that much detail about where what gears they should be, bike? no, when I store it away. But what I would say is if you are storing your bike away for a long time, make sure it is spick and span. Give it a good, deep, clean, um, and lubricate everything. Yeah, just yeah. make sure it's in great condition. Put it to bed, put it to sleep, and make sure you store it somewhere dry. Yeah, that's probably a good point. Yes. But in terms of like the, the, dra the derailleur springs, I've heard that a very, very long time ago. I've never worried about it, and I've never seen any evidence to say that it affects the springs. Basically, just do whatever's easiest. Yeah, yeah. don't need to overthink that too much. Next question, who's that from? Next question is from Jake. Mm. Is there a maximum size of front chainring that is compatible with a R RD RX817 wow. GRX DI2 rear mech for a one by setup. I am interested to know if I could change from a 42 tooth chainring to a 50 tooth chainring for flat rides. I assume you would need a longer chain, but I am a bit confused by derailleur ca capacity. capacity. God. <laughs> so I don't know whether the rear mech can handle this It's increase. a bit of a techy question that. That is. Um, shall I offer some advice? Go for Alex. I'm, I think you'd be perfectly fine switching to that rear derailleur. So most of the advice around rear derailleurs is, oh sorry, that chain ring size, sorry. Most of the advice around the rear derailleurs is to do with the cassette ratios and sizes. It's not specifically about the chain ring size, but the only thing you do need to do is make sure that the chain is long enough to account yes. for that larger chain ring. And then I'm sure it would just be fine, wouldn't it? it yeah, I have, I have hmm. made that mistake before where my chain has been a little bit too short. Yeah, it rattles um, around. Basically, you just need yeah. to make sure the chain's the correct length. You Next do. question is from Joran Van Dahl. Dale hmm, says, hi, hmm. Alex and Ollie. Well, let's say hi to you as well, Mel. Um, is it true that you can freeze slash destroy your tubeless milk? I'm assuming they mean sealant. I've yeah. never heard tubeless milk. Uh, when before. inflating your tires with a CO2 cartridge. So I have actually heard of this before. People have been questioning whether, well, when you use a CO2 cartridge, it gets incredibly cold. Yeah. And they're wondering whether it freezes the sealant or milk, as they All call it. All to do it. with the pressure. <laughs> yeah, so that, look, the change of pressure changes the temperature. I'm yeah. impressed you knew that, actually. I know. Um, but I would not be worried about it. No. If you are concerned about freezing the, the sealant inside, put the valve to the top all the ceiling's gonna to go to the bottom, and then I don't think you have a problem. I'd be more concerned about wanting to have a little cover over the canister, because you, you could sort of freeze it to your hands. Yeah, you do get quite cold. Mm, so wear some like gloves it. or get a little cover for the canister. Yeah, next question in from Smart Little Fishy. What a username. <laughs> I yeah. love that. Okay, first question. Why are red bicycles so much faster than non-red bicycles? I mean, that is just one of life's mysteries, isn't it? It is, I, I actually agree with this. I do think red bicycles. So faster. I think it's the same applies to cars, irrespective of whatever car Ferrari. it is. Ferrari, red is faster. Yeah, exactly. Um, although a red Ford Fiesta is faster than a blue <laughs> Ferrari. Um, so is, anyway, on to is, your other question. Yes, the, the real actual question yeah. from Smart Little Fishy. How do, track, how do I track down a creek in my new carbon fibre bike? I recently bought a Niner R RTL RDO um, and it's an amazing ride, but there is a creek somewhere in the frame. I checked the torque on every single bolt to make sure everything that needs greasing has been greased and yet there is still a creek. Oh, there's nothing worse than a creaky bike, and it is sometimes an incredible pain to find yes. out where it's from. You sort you, of- You can kind of hear where, it, where it's coming from, and then you check everything, and then it's still there. Basically, I think you really need to take your time, be persistent, really sort of log in your head when it makes this noise, what area it's coming from, and then you can try and pinpoint it down. But you do also need to pay attention to like components that you wouldn't normally think of. So maybe things like pedals. I was just about to say pedals. Quick yeah, releases. When you like stand up the saddle, does it mm. make more of a creak? Or when you're spinning faster, just narrow it down. Chainring bolts are a good one. That I spent ages once looking for a creak. Chainring bolt turned out. It might be that. Yeah. Check your chainring bolts. Just, yeah, just 
go through every yeah. single thing. Next question in is from Chip G, who says, how many miles should a group set last before you need to change it? Well, it depends on a lot of things. Yeah. How much you ride, how well you can look after it. And I'm, I'd say that they should last a pretty long time if you look after them correctly. Some of those components aren't really going to wear out. What we've got like nope. shifters, the derailleurs, they're, they're components that you're probably only going to end up replacing when you've like damaged them from yeah. crashing or something. Um, when a dog runs out in front but of you. It, it, sometimes, it, <laughs> sometimes it can be nice to treat yourself to a new gold chain. Yeah, so, gold chain. Yeah. But components, yeah, so some components will wear out. So things like chain, you can set your chain rings. Basically, as a very, very rough guide, a chain should last about a year. I yeah. think if you're maintaining it correctly, then replace a new one. But ultimately, if you watch the endless amount of cleaning videos that I've made explaining to her on how to clean their bike correctly, it'll make all the stuff last longer. Exactly. Hmm, anyway, next question is in from Tim, and this is one for you, Alex. How can time be endless if there is no time in the first place? I'm not entirely sure about the ins and outs of it, but it's just a cool phrase that I like to say. Oh, Alex hmm. is full of cool phrases. <laughs> uh, next question is from Ed Romero says, for butyl tubes, so that's your sort of normal standard inner tube, um, should we deflate them between rides or not? Assuming we want them to last longer, what on earth? What I've never think? ever deflated my tires. Is that a trick question? I think I sometimes did it on my track bike, on my um, like disc wheels and stuff. Not well, sure why. Yeah, but think... when you pump them up super hard. Yeah, because yeah. they were pumped up to 20, 200 plus psi. But yeah, I've I'm never not... heard of it on inner tubes. Basically, save your arm muscles. Don't pump your tires up all the time. Leave them be. Spend an extra two minutes riding your bike every ride. Hmm. Well said. Right, next question in is from Stefan. It says, can you give me some advice and tips? Well, it's a bit technical on how to avoid sprockets biting into aluminium free hub bodies, more and more wheels on the higher end are getting equipped with Shimano aluminium free hub bodies. Um, wonder if it's important to minimize or avoid this issue. They also say thank you at the end. It's very polite. They say thank you for answering the question. Bit of a bit of a common problem is basically the sprockets sort of dig in to the bit where you fit your cassette. Lots of people might not even notice it. I mean, have you ever I've, noticed I've it? I've never noticed it. No. no. So basically, on a cassette, if it's got individual sprockets, when you're doing sprints and stuff, the force going through it can sometimes make it or sort of, it just bites into the aluminium body a little bit. Don't worry about it, it happens all the time. Some wheels have a little insert to try and reduce that, and some yeah. cassettes are on like a big spider. So you know if you get your cassette and it removes all in one go, yeah. it's all one piece, so that'll help reduce that issue. Mm. There um, we are. Yeah. And the final question this week is in from Christian. I wonder if there is a dedicated person in the room with, who a, sign. with a sign to remind Alex and Ollie to say group set if the group set of the of people. The people Really, every time 105 is mentioned, you did Groups say. are the people, you just said it then. They just held the sign up. Groups are the people. Um, they also actually hold the fist pump sign anytime a gold chain is mentioned. Oh, fist we, pump we sign. We do not need a sign for fist pump because yeah, that just. Um, no, comes we, don't, we don't have an extra person in the room. We just know it's ingrained into us, it's part of the official GCN training. Um, but when we sign up, you have to know the phrases to say when certain things are mentioned. It's, it takes a lot of practice, mm. dedication, hours and hours of training, but yeah. Yeah, that rounds off this week's GCN Tech Clinic. Hope you enjoyed it. As usual, keep your additional questions coming in the comments section down below and try and remember to use hashtag AskGCNTech. Yeah, lots of uh, 105 groups out of the people questions, please. Yeah, see ya.